Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So I owe everyone a big apology. <laughs> this is why my uh, my channel name is Tongue in Cheek. Uh, being a know-it-all is not necessarily a good thing all the time. Anyway, what I thought was the radar puck, the thing that showed where the radar was, actually is for the tow hook in case you have to tow your Tesla, which fortunately I've never had to do, so I didn't know that. Knock on wood, right? Anyway, it turns out it looks like it's slightly to the right of the Tesla T on the bumper, so I basically covered a little bit to the left to like most of the way across. I'll show you a picture of that. So anyway, I've done that to make sure that I've completely covered it. I've also put up four layers of aluminum foil. I did shiny side, not shiny side, not shiny side, shiny side, whatever. Anyway, I flip-flopped them around. So hopefully all of this stuff is very, very um, solid this time. So I'm redoing the experiment. Um, we're going to see Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna have it go to work for a little while because of that will take it several places. So, starting off in a neighborhood, um, again, I just put it in autopilot, full self driving. If you don't know, I'm not gonna make you watch the previous video since, like I said, I screwed up the thing. But basically, I'm in control. I'm monitoring the car at all times. It's also really hot today. It's it's like only well, it's 12, so it's actually not nearly as hot. But I've been outside biking and then mowing the lawn, so I'm super sweaty. So anyway. <laughs> Apologies if I look like I'm sweating. But anyway, so the basic idea is I have to monitor the car. I have a hand on the steering wheel, left hand uh, or right hand, whichever. But anyway, I'm monitoring the car at all times. If this thing was having problems with the radar system, I would assume it would immediately tell me that it was degraded and that there would be an issue with it. So I haven't seen that. So it appears that autopilot is working okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive this to the highway and let it go on the highway. If you don't know, the highway stack is different. It's creeping out, it's very, it handles that stop sign really badly. <laughs> anyway, it makes it through, but it just takes it a really long time. So anyway, we're gonna go out onto a big road, make a, what apparently is an unprotected left, although it actually is a protected left because it's only one way is green at a time. But anyway, uh, it'll do that, and then it's going to go onto the highway. I'll turn off the full self-driving um, for a bit to make sure that I can turn around. Then I'm gonna take it out of full self-driving, no, sorry, not of, not of full self-driving, out of beta. So right now it's in beta. When it goes on the highway, it's still using officially beta software, but what it's doing is it's using the old stack, which is much more like programmed and stuff. Sorry, I didn't wiggle the steering wheel there. Um, but anyway, it's got, you know, basically it kind of falls back to an older stack on the highway. And so that would be the point I would assume that we would notice something was amiss if it's different, if it's using radar on the whole thing. This part hasn't had any differences. I always feel like it comes up on this turn way too fast. <laughs> so I was like, you should slow down a little bit more before we get there. But anyway, oh good. Um, I'm going to take it out of full self-driving because I actually, I can't believe I've hit this light two days in a row at like the yellow. So anyway, sorry, I just wanted to make sure I got through the light so we didn't have to sit there because that's really boring. It takes about two minutes for it to recycle. Okay, so anyway, putting it back into full self-driving now. You can see visualization all looks good. I have seen zero errors. It's not complaining about anything. Uh, yeah. So, okay, so let's see how it handles the light. Should handle that, no problem. And it's interesting because you can see the red light up there and the visualization doesn't pop up until there. So the, it definitely started to slow down for the red light before it visualized the red light. So you know, we're talking about the BEV nets and all of that kind of stuff I've talked about in other videos. Um, anyway, I, it's interesting because I'm always trying to figure out exactly how far forward the bird's eye view network is actually able to look because we, as we think we surmise that it's actually um, a grid based system. So what it's doing is it's gridding out the distance ahead of us and trying to like put it into a grid from a top-down point of view and it's trying to figure out like what uh, how far out that thing can see and that's an interesting question so again you can see that it says it sees this lead car which is like a darker gray you can see that pretty far away and it started to slow down properly now it should get into the right lane here I don't know if there it goes okay so anyway so it's getting into the proper lane and we're gonna get onto the highway and as we get onto the highway, watch somewhere around the end of the, whoa, okay, that, I don't know what that was. <laughs> wow, I have no idea what that was. I don't know if it thought that it was, uh, that is so weird. 
Okay, interesting. It's like, it, that was really strange behavior, sorry. I definitely took it out of uh, autopilot there. It was like trying to turn into the wrong turn, so. All right. So anyway, as I was saying, I don't know what that was, but I don't think that had to do with lack of radar. I think that was just a navigation error. But as we merge onto the highway up here, you'll see the red lines will disappear and it'll go back to like a different sort of look, like the old school look. This is really cool right now. I love like how that looks, but somewhere right around here is when it should switch. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> I've got it down pretty well. I know, I know with this entrance. So anyway, now it's on the old system, which is not the new full self-driving neural network based stack. It's like an old like C, C++ kind of code thing as far as I understand at least. And again, no problems at all with full self-driving, with it throwing out errors. So again, I've covered up as much of the bumper as I imagine it's even reasonable for it to be shooting out radar. And so again, the, the question was, if you didn't see the video, the other video already, Green the Only posted that somebody was having issues with their full self-driving was throwing errors. Sorry, I'm gonna cancel the full self-driving because I wanna turn around and go back again. There's no, no real point in uh, <laughs> getting up. Anyway, so I'm just gonna turn it off and we're gonna cycle back. But anyway, what I wanted to say about that was that, that Green the Only posted a thing that said that somebody had a radar glitch that was causing the car not to be able to drive in full self-driving beta, which is a really interesting little issue. And that's what caused this entire experiment because what I did was I was like, well, it's possible that the, the, the radar is working, but, oh wait, I need to be in this lane. Yep, because I'm gonna turn right back around again. Anyway, it's possible the radar is working and it's sending out signals, but it's just being ignored by full self-driving. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm going to go into autopilot and I'm going to turn off full self-driving beta. So we, I'm also then gonna put it into park for just a second, just to kind of cycle it like it thinks it's like on a new trip and then put it back into drive. Okay, so now it won't drive properly on the road because it's not in beta anymore, but also I need to navigate to, let's see, oh, let's go here. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll make it go on the highway even if it doesn't wanna take us on the highway. I think, yeah, I think that, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna make it go back on the highway before I put it in and that way it'll drive on the highway. But, uh, but anyway, so the older stack potentially could still be using radar when it's not in full self-driving beta. The other option is that even if you're using the non-beta version of the software, the software that you download for beta is only vision-based and doesn't use radar at all anymore. So there's two possibilities here for what might be going on. Uh, or, or, you know, or it actually is trying to use radar and it's going to be an issue when we get there. So we'll, we'll see when I go back on the highway if it, if it starts throwing up a whole bunch of errors. Again, haven't seen anything yet, but let's, I'll just, woo. <laughs> oh, oh right, the non-beta doesn't do the full screen, so. Sorry, I was going to put it into the full screen so you could get the pretty stuff, but it doesn't do full screen. Alright, so anyway. Oh yeah, it does want to take us here. I don't know if this, I don't think it'll go on the highway. I don't think the, the old navigate enhance navigate on autopilot or whatever would, would do a left-hand turn. So I'm gonna get us onto the merge lane and then we will go ahead and put it in and engage it. So, but this should take us to the next exit and get off the highway. So it should do that for us once we get going. And again, if there's a problem, I would, I would assume it will be almost immediate. So yeah, no problems. It seems, seems just as content as it did when it was driving the beta version of the software. Again, remember that this, I don't know that there's any real difference between the highway software without beta and the highway software with beta. I think that they're pretty much the same. I really hate the way, really hate the way it enters the highways at the last possible second. There's nobody behind us, you know, close by, so it was fine, but it's, uh, it's not the greatest thing in the world. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna just wait until it gets off the highway. I, I think that even though the last experiment I did, the last video, had the aluminum foil covering the wrong thing, now that I've got the aluminum foil covering the correct area of the vehicle, I'm still not seeing any difference whatsoever. So if the radar is still shooting out pulses and trying to receive pulses, it would be getting a lot of spurious, like I don't know exactly how well it would go through aluminum foil, but four layers of it at various random angles because it's not exactly smooth, is gonna cause a ton of noise for the radar. So it would be seeing all sorts of things. 
even if it can partially see through it. So the fact that we're not seeing any errors whatsoever means that if the radar is working, the radar is being ignored. And so power can be going to it, it could be doing its radar pulsing receiving thing, but the signal that's being transmitted back to the car is, is completely being ignored. So yeah, so you can see we just popped out of highway navigation, so. Um, oh great. <laughs> It's a weekend day, so you never know how you'll hit the lights. But anyway, um, I was going to put it back into full self-driving when I got off this road, but maybe, okay, we got a red light. I know when I go to full self-driving, I've got to be parked completely, so I'll stop here and try to come up. And <laughs> it's a little awkward to, to park in the road, but that'll be okay. All right, so anyway, park, let me move a little further forward. <laughs> ah, and the light turned green. Yeah, I absolutely have to be in park to put it back in full self-driving. So anyway, I, it doesn't really particularly matter. Um, but basically, I think that the experimental evidence, even though I completely screwed up yesterday, <laughs> it's now it is with the proper placement of the uh, aluminum foil across the entire bumper in the front where the radar would be shooting out, it pretty well indicates that it's the same thing. There's no problems whatsoever. So, so. The results from yet from the video that I published this morning stand even though what I did was totally wrong. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> that's uh that's large error bars. I was watching Sabino Hasenfelder this morning talking about bad science articles. I'm like, oh gosh, I just did bad science in that last one. I didn't didn't uh, make sure that I had things covered properly. All right, so anyway, uh, let me know if you have any other thoughts about other ways to test this. But as far as I'm concerned, I think that that pretty much, you know, seals the deal. The fact that we haven't seen any kind of errors whatsoever in this and it was perfectly happy, you know, means that it, it was, it was, it's been working fine. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. And, you know, <laughs> if you watched the last video, sorry, you can speed through this one and you can get to the end where I say like still exactly the same results. So anyway, I will talk to you all later. Have a lovely weekend. Bye bye.